I'm Ava. I'm a second year systems design engineering student. Uh, my name is Sho. I'm a researcher at the Research Institute for Aging. I'm a PhD student working with Dr. Cosman Montiano. Hi, I'm uh, Cosman Montiano. I'm an associate professor inside. Um, also the Schlegel Research Chair in Technology for Aging Gracefully Lab. So in our lab, we work on a variety of projects looking particularly at digital technologies, emerging new digital technologies, voice interfaces, virtual reality, and we're in a way across the, all the projects in our lab, we're challenging the notion of older adults as being technology um, illiterate. So specifically, I'm working in utilizing VR technologies um, to facilitate storytelling with older adults. And a project that I'm working on right now is developing a sort of customized travel simulator um, to take participants down like various uh, Google Street View paths. Um, and ideally these paths would be mapped out by say like older adults and, the, and you know to show maybe younger generations or just other people in general. My research looks at social virtual reality specifically. We're interested in looking at how older adults use it as a medium for digital storytelling and also how groups of uh, older adults and communities of older adults uh, such as retirement homes and hospices uh, use and create social virtual spaces as sort of informal gathering places for their communities to come together and socialize and engage in activities together, uh, which we think might be particularly useful for older adults and for communities who are facing accessibility and mobility limitations. So my grandparents are back in Nepal right now, um, and I don't really have much connection with them. And so they'll tell me about, you know, all these places in their past that, you know, they're currently living in, that they grew up in, not just my grandparents, my parents as well. Um, and so I've seen like there's a lot of meaning in those types of places and it's really difficult to ex to like actually access. So I was just trying to create something that might help say like my grandparents facilitate a more meaningful interaction with me than say like a video call. We're really motivated by this idea of social virtual spaces um, and the opportunity there and the potential for them to serve as accessible public spaces for marginalized groups who are unable to access um, quality public spaces that are so important for you know community formation and, and community development and social participation in general uh, and our research is really exploring uh, the potential for social VR to potentially bridge that gap.